Hello everyone, here in this video I am going to show you that how you can display selected color images in your product page of the Shopify store. This video is specific for sense theme of the Shopify. If you have any other theme then I have already created a lot of videos with different themes. So I will be adding the link below in the description for the playlist which I have created for different themes. So you can watch the video according to your theme. So this is for the sense theme. So here exactly what I am going to show you is that for example, I am selecting black color and you can see that we have the main image which is black color. And if you'll scroll it down, you will find out that all the other colors are also displaying. So we are interested to hide all these other colors and only display the specific color which we are interested to uh, select here. So for example, I am selecting white. So only white color images should be displayed below. All right. So let me show you step by step that how you can do it yourself. So firstly, you should go to the dashboard of the store. And here you can see that I have installed sense theme. And if you have uh, any other theme, then you can still watch this video. You will get to know that how I am doing this uh, specific coding related stuff in this uh, uh, theme. So you should click on these three dots and then duplicate this theme because later on if you have any problem or something you can roll it back to its original version so now we have already given the uh, steps in the documentation so let me show you the documentation so here is the document.txt i have already given all the steps so the first step is uh, you should update all text of images in the gallery for each product so what does it uh, it mean you should go to the products and we have uh, so many products for the example i am taking this product as a demo so here you can see that we have the gallery and make sure that all the images are already uploaded here and then after we have the color variants which are like black ice blue and white and accordingly we have all these images so firstly we are going to uh, change the alt text so what it means you should click on any of the image and here you can see that we have an input box which is actually representing the alternate text so you should replace this with uh, the color name so you should uh, select here and for example this color is ice blue so i'm going to copy this color name ice blue and click on this image and paste that color name and then click on save so we have actually added that color name in the alt text you should click on next and paste that again and then save the changes similarly you should go next and paste that color name and now we have the fourth image and then we have actually the new image which is black so go back and copy this black color so make sure that exactly same color name which is here you should copy and then paste it right here because if you are uh, making any kind of uh, mistake in the color name spelling or something so it will not uh, work as uh, usual so it will not work so i am adding all these black colors and now we have the final color which is the white color so let me see so here is the new color which we have white so you should copy this white color and then paste it right here so you should do uh, this uh, same thing for all the other uh, products also because that's how we are comparing the uh, color name and then hiding and showing those uh, color images so that's it now we are going to see here so yeah there is no impact because we have not added any code yet so one more thing is that you should go to online store and let me show you one more thing click on customize and we are interested to show those uh, colors i mean those images in the bottom so let me show you what exactly i mean you should click on thumbnail carousel so now you can see that we have small images displaying these are more beautiful so let me refresh it back and now you will see that all those images are displaying right here okay but you can see that we have all the other images are also there so we are interested to hide all the other images okay so let's go step by step so you should go back and click on these three dots click on edit code and here we have some folders and files so you should follow the step from document so we have the second step which is go to snippets open product dash media dash gallery dot liquid so you should copy this name of file and search it right here and open this file product dash media dash gallery dot liquid and inside of it we are going to add an attribute which is data dash main dash color equals to double quotes so you should copy and then scroll it down but make sure where exactly we are going to add in the first ul tag okay so the first ul tag is 
here this one is the ul tag and inside of this opening tag we are going to paste that attribute name which is data dash main dash color now the next step is add class parent ul dash main in this uh, ul also so here we have the cl other classes so you should uh, add that class name in the beginning so here you can see that we have added parent ul dash main now the next step is paste below code inside the first li opening tag so this code you need to copy which is like four lines and scroll a little bit down and here you can see that we have li tag so this is the first li tag so you should paste in the opening tag of this okay then the next step is paste below code inside the first li opening tag which is under loop of media so copy this and then go back scroll a little bit down and you will see that just now we added this line uh, this code and if you are scrolling a little bit down we have this loop of uh, product dot media and inside of it we have an li tag and just uh, inside of this li tag you are going to paste uh, those four lines of code inside this opening tag actually okay then after we have the third step which is go to last ul tag so actually we have two ul tags here first one is this one and the second one is at the bottom so you can see that we have only two ul tags so this uh, in the bottom in the second ul tag uh, we also need to add an attribute which is data dash color equals to double quotes so i'm going to copy and then paste it right here then similarly we have parent ul so you should copy this class name and add into this ul tag so this is these are all the other classes so you should paste that new class so here is parent ul and then after we have to paste this below lines of code in the first li tag okay so this is first li opening tag so you should scroll a little bit down and here you can see that we have first li tag and inside of this opening tag we are going to paste this four lines of code and finally we have uh, the last step which is this one so you should copy this and inside the loop of media you are going to paste in the first li opening tag this code okay so let me show you scroll a little bit down and you can see that we have this for loop and inside of this for loop you can see here we have a li tag okay so i'm going to paste it right here and then click on save so that was the final step all right so let's see the preview now click on preview store scroll a little bit down click on this product and here we go now you can see that we have only black color images showing here so we have one last step which was like uh, replacing one more file which is media-gallery.js so actually this is the code which we are going to copy and then paste it inside of uh, here you should search gallery and here we have media.gallery.js so you should re replace this complete code with that new code and then uh, save the changes once the changes are saved then you can actually click on preview store and you should scroll a little bit down and here you need to click on this product and here we go now you can see that we have all the black color images are displaying here if we are selecting ice blue so only ice blue images are displaying and if we are selecting white so you can see that only white color images are displaying so that's how you can actually implement this same feature into your store so this is really simple and just copy and paste and you don't need to hire any kind of developer if you have any new feature to develop or you have any problem or something you can directly contact me i will help you out in uh, solving that problem you can follow me on instagram tiktok and facebook you can also join a whatsapp group which we i have created recently so i keep publishing latest content in that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video